Hi everybody. How's it going? Things are going pretty well. Today is Rayla's birthday. One year ago we celebrated Rayla's birthday for the last time with her mom. And it's crazy, these milestones. Um, we celebrated Rayla's birthday last weekend and had family over and it was fun and chaotic and uh, she wanted a water, uh, a water balloon fight. That's all she wanted was water. And so we made that happen, even though it was kind of rainy that day. But she had her water balloons, her squirt guns, the pool, sprinklers, all the fun stuff that she asked for, and cupcakes. That was really all she wanted was the frosting off the cupcakes. But that was, that was what she wanted. And we were surrounded with loved ones. And it was so much fun and just chaotic and exciting. A four-year-old's birthday. Um, today is Rayla's birthday. Even though for the past three or four weeks, she was certain that she was four. But today I woke up like any other normal day feeling okay, doing life. And as the day's progressing, it's getting heavier and heavier and heavier, which sucks. It's, I don't often live in my mind in that place of Sarah's never going to do this with her kids again. And my kids are never going to be able to do these milestones with their mom. Today, I'm having a hard time not being in that place because Rayla's memory of her mom is so small because she was so young, three years old, when her mom died. And so she doesn't have many memories and that sucks and I promised Sarah that my kids wouldn't forget her and I'm keeping to that promise every night we still do mommy songs and I play the recordings that Sarah left us and I sing along with them and put Rayla to bed and on many of those nights, we also look at pictures or we'll uh, play Rayla's video that Sarah made for her. And it's just a, it's just heavier today. I'm really, really sad that we don't get to have Sarah here to celebrate this and see Rayla grow up and get bigger and be the amazing, sassy, fiery little monster she is. So, um, yeah, and there's a lot going on in life, lots of changes, lots of transition, and, you know, it's, it's, difficult, sad, and we're still moving forward. It's just it's these moments, these days, highlight our life changes in a much different, much heavier sort of way. And so I'm just kind of processing through that today and trying to do life and all the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And and it's harder, it's really hard to focus on what I'm supposed to be doing and what I need to be doing and um, getting my work done. It's just really hard. Um, last night, Braden had a band concert 
It was the final band concert of the school year and they combined band and choir. And it was really, really great. Um, all the music reminded me of Sarah, like, because she did choir, that's part of the reason, but it was Disney and like show tunes and uh, all these things that she would have loved. And <laughs> it was like, it felt happy. It was, it was one of those moments where I was having all of these good memories and good feelings and good vibes and not feeling sad, just feeling okay, feeling good and really appreciating um, the memories that were coming with the songs that were being sung and kind of dancing around with Rayla in our seats and it was good. All right, <sighs> back to Rayla's birthday. So tonight I get to give Rayla one of the last things that Sarah did for her and that was a little four, uh, uh, fourth birthday birthday card fourth birthday birthday card yeah so um gonna once we get home get that give that to her and i think have some cake or some kind of dessert maybe brownies or lemon bars i don't really know <laughs> we did her birthday party so today's kind of just a um just going for it however however things happen today but just kind of wanted to update on that because, you know, today's a special day. It's Rayla's birthday. Um, Rayla was a COVID baby. So we had her at the, mid, the very beginning, June 2020, uh, of COVID. And it was really, really special because she, Rayla, was kind of this amazing light in all of this darkness um, between the cancer and COVID and and all the crappy things that we were dealing with, Rayla was kind of that ray of sunshine. So I will be feeling heavy, I think, heavy hearted all day, um, but celebrating and appreciating all that Sarah did for us, did for Rayla, and making sure that her memory stays alive and that Rayla will always, always remember her mommy. Have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. Remember, be kind, make good choices, and I'll see you later.